Hi everybody, this is Ryan Kircher, Senior Additive Manufacturing Engineer with RMS Company. I'm in one of our additive manufacturing rooms with the Operations Manager, Josh Starr. Josh, uh, how many additive manufacturing rooms do we have here at RMS? Right now we have two. Our first room has 20 machines in it, and our second room has 10 with the capacity of 10 more. So how many machines is RMS currently running? Right now we have 30 machines and two more on the way. Metal additive manufacturing is considered by some to be somewhat of a dangerous activity due to the um, high-powered lasers and combustible metal powders. Can you um, explain a little bit about how you guys constructed this facility and what kind of uh, measures were taken to ensure operator safety? So this is an H3 hazardous occupancy facility. So all of our material is handled within this room. We have very rigorous training. We take safety very, very personal here at RMS. And everybody is well trained on that. Our building is uh, state of the art. And, and it's built for these operations. What kind of hazards are there um, specific to metal additive that you guys had to take into account? Uh, we had to remove our sprinkler system. We had to put double layers of sheetrock inside and outside of the room. We have to have a two hour burn rating around the entire outside of the room, the ceiling, the walls, the floor, and we also need to be grounded. So we have a special ESD floor that allows all of our operators or techs to be grounded. What kind of systems are we running in our additive manufacturing rooms? We have DMP 320s and 350s. That's a laser bed powder fusion system that, that is manufactured by 3D Systems. Uh, some of these printers are older models. However, we've suited them all to have the same capabilities. That, that way we get the same process out of all of our equipment. Josh, why do you think the DMP Flex 350 is, is one of the leading uh, systems for manufacturing titanium medical devices? Well, it runs at a low oxygen, part per million. So that, what that does is that allows us to, to reuse material over and over from, from within that machine. Not a new powder batch, but within that machine. And it extends the seeding life as well. So how does it accomplish such a low uh, PPM of oxygen during the build? -time? Well, it runs a, a vacuum cycle, and it really takes all that oxygen out and replaces it with argon, and it constantly purges that oxygen out so that it doesn't get too, too high of a limit. Uh, what, what kind of materials do you run on these systems? Titanium 6AL 4B Eli, grade 23 titanium. Um, is, is that to any specific industry standard or specification? Yes, it meets F3001. However, we do have some customer specific standards that are a little bit tighter than that. So we, we do accommodate some of our customers' specifications as well. Josh, I want to thank you for taking the time to uh, show us around one of your additive manufacturing rooms here. It's my pleasure. Yep. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of RMS's Additive Manufacturing Series. Um, stay tuned for our next episode.